Hey guys, and welcome back to Collector's Domain. Joseph here bringing to you a very special review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Pokemon Sun and Moon Z Ring. This thing's cool. Um, so, right off the bat, it's pretty cool. Uh, and it's definitely something that I'm going to be comparing to other products from other companies. And I'm going to say it's still pretty cool on its own, even though I would say it's not the best and that the other aforementioned product is probably better. Uh, this thing is still pretty cool and we'll just take a look at some of its features. First of all, let's take a look at its packaging. First, this is the game. I picked up Sun for myself. My girlfriend got Moon. And I pre-ordered my product through Tomy. Yeah, I ordered it through Tomy a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago, uh, because in their, their, uh, their grouping they came with the actual Z-Ring, this thing, the Pikachu figure, and three three-packs of Z-Crystals, which still doesn't come out to 18, so there's still some out there that need to be collected for the different types, but we get a nice broad selection, which we'll go over real quickly, and some of them are already on this bracelet. So first of all, I'm going to take this thing off, and let's go over packaging real quick. But you know what, I'll keep it on, just for modeling sake. Alright, so here's the packaging for the box. Ahem. <laughs> So pretty cool, very colorful. Sun and moon on the front. Pikachu there. Works with the 3DS, 2DS. It's got a tag on the top you can hang it with. Picture um, product shots. Tons of different languages. Pretty cool. And all the different crystals. All 18 of them. Which I'm not exactly sure. I didn't go through which ones I don't have yet. But that's 18 I believe. Sun and moon. Very cool. I'm going to keep this box. Inside you get the insert which houses the, it's a clamshell, so it houses the, the three, two crystals, one on the inside and an Ormalium Z, the Pikachu figure, and the actual Z ring. What comes with it, put that there, so cute little Pikachu figure, not exclusive, I don't think anything in this set was exclusive, so I'm very, a little sad about that, I thought it was going to be, but it's not. Uh, the ring itself retails for about $30, and then each set, um, maybe, I don't know, maybe like 5 bucks each, ten, 7 bucks, 8 bucks each for a set of three. You get a product manual on the inside, a bunch of just the little minifigures that the Pikachu, same scale as them. Some Megas, some Eevees, things like that, things we don't care about really. Some Tic Tacs, and the actual Z crystal packs. So these are really cool because these are collector friendly. So if you want to keep them in box and still be able to use them, they thought about that. Now sometimes when you have these kinds of packagings, these are actually attached to the backing, but this time they're just taped. Uh, the top is attached, but that makes it easy access to the back. You can just pull out the insert and pop out the crystals and use them and put them back when you're done. So that's really cool that we have the option to do that. So this one is the Steelium, the Rockium, and the Poisonium. Not very <laughs> original in the names. You also get the Ghostium, Bugnium, Darknium, in uh, two languages. And the Normalium, the Phytanium, and the Electrium. That's right, This uh, the original box comes with the three starters, the Fire, Grass, and Water. So let's take a look at that real quick. Now that's really nice about it. I thought I was worried looking at earlier reviews that this thing was not going to fit me. Uh, I was worried that uh, it didn't have an adjustable strap, so it wasn't going to be able to, and it looked kind of small, and it's not going to fit many people's wrists. Now my wrist is medium to medium small, I would say. It's not large. Um, it's not small either. But it does fit. It's one size, and it fits perfectly around it. If your wrist is smaller, for let's say for like kids, it comes with this strap on the inside that you could wrap around and it'll hold on tight to you. But it fits on me perfectly. No strap needed and no problems. It's not too tight and it's not too loose. Perfect. Now if you look at the bottom here, I believe this is the NFC communicator, which I'm a little interested to see. I don't know if it's an NFC because I thought the 2DS doesn't come with an NFC built into it. I thought you had to get that separate. Uh, or the old 2 3DS, but it says you could use it but I thought those didn't work with NFC, so I'm not exactly sure what this is, what technology it's using. But here, this is how it opens. A little upset with the build quality of this, uh, mostly because this uh, works on clips. I'm not sure how long those are going to last. This whole thing 
works on a clip system that seems like it's going to break so I'm seeing I'm going to predict a lot of these breaking at different points uh, so just opens and closes here by force there's no release button it's pretty it's, it holds on it doesn't come off loose but it doesn't lock in super tight either so I'm not sure how long that's going to last time will tell you only get three crystals but there's space for extra three six on uh, three on each side total of six and then one in the middle right now I have the normalium the rock the crystals don't actually sit in all that tightly so that's a little this one so it's a little tambourine and taking them off and putting them on is a little hit or miss it uses a clip system uh, yokai uses a friction system so this is uh, this is not going to hold up to the test of time uh, but it has a pearlescent white plastic hue to it, so it looks like plastic, but I guess you could say it sort of looks like the stone that it's supposed to be made out of in-game. So I have a bunch of random ones just in here. They only fit one way. There's an arrow on the top, and it pops in one way only, because there's a clip here and a hole on one side of it, and you can see up top. And then there's three pins that change the height at which the pins are pressed and it makes different sounds based on that so there's actually no pins on the actual thing here just different varying holes and just clips in there the uh, speakers are right here and there's three modes to this in the middle it's standby uh, to the right it's 2ds 3ds mode and to the left with the two dots it is uh, roleplay mode so for demonstration we'll use the uh, the roleplay mode and here's the release button. It's a little tricky using this thing. Uh, here's the trigger button. This review is probably going to be two parts. I just noticed that. But uh, I guess this is really sort of an unboxing. Just showing you the packaging and everything. Showing you the build. Next one we'll go over the sounds. So I'm going to compare this to the Yokai watch. I just have to. It's like a given. This was created in response to that. So it fits better on me personally than better than the yokai watch uh, because when I put on the yokai watch there was a lot of space around the sides that couldn't go away no matter how tight you made it but this wraps around nicely all the way through but what sucks is that if it doesn't fit you it's not going to fit you this fit a much wider range of people if they wanted to just use it but it's roughly the same size like nearly identical it's just as bulky uh, it doesn't look as nice. I actually don't like the way it looks too much, but it's still pretty cool. Definitely customizable. Way more customizable than this because of the different crystals. What sucks is that you can't hold all 18, so I'm kind of hoping that they have another way to display these crystals because uh, what are you going to do with the rest of them, right? So I think there's like an extra 6 that I'm not going to be able to... 6, 7, 7 or 8, and I'm not going to be able to put onto here. Yokai watch. This doesn't have an on-off switch. This one does. So very cool. Lots of sounds. Way more technology in this one. Uh, the sounds definitely much less because uh, this had like over a hundred. This only has as many as the crystals are times two maybe. Um, maybe one for roleplay mode and one for the game mode. But we'll go over that a little bit in the next following part. So thanks for stopping by. Uh, if you can still get it, definitely get it. Worth it. Stick around for part two guys.